Well, I mean, we've been building for this for a long time. I mean, every year there's a new excitement with the first game, and uh, obviously this year is no different. Um, we're always thrilled to have the opportunity to open uh, with a doubleheader with our guys, and so just the atmosphere is different. It's electric. It's exciting, and looking forward to tomorrow. I mean, to be honest, I'm just excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to be, how it's going to feel. People keep asking me, like, you know, like, Oh, you've been waiting for this. Like, how does it feel? I don't really know how it feels yet. I won't know until tomorrow. Well, we're thrilled to have them uh, coming here and playing us. Uh, anytime we can test our team with a, a powerhouse from the, the Power Five Conference is really important for us. And, uh, you know, Wisconsin has a new coach, but a coach that I've known for a really long time, and he's been very successful. He did a great job at GW. Um, started at Notre Dame, who's won uh, national championships and Final Fours. So uh, while he is a new coach, uh, certainly know that they'll be prepared and ready. Um, in terms of their personnel, they're very big, and so we're going to be challenged in the post uh, right off the bat um, in terms of just defending them and boxing out. I think those are going to be two really big keys for us. Um, well, they have some big body post players. They have some very athletic post players, and so um, I'm, look I'm looking forward to playing against them tomorrow. Well, I mean, I think not only are their posts big, they do uh, an excellent job ceiling to get position. Uh, when they don't get position, they also have uh, a lot of great face-up type moves. So uh, the versatility that they're having in the post is uh, certainly a concern. And uh, you know, we feel good that we have two great post defenders in, in Kenya and I, uh, but they've got to be ready. I mean, they can't get sealed deep for position because you know it's going to be very difficult to stop their post if that happens. And you know, if we do get them off the block, they've got to be ready to, to slide and move. And, and then everybody has to do their part to box out. Yeah, the, the wings, the guards are a little more of an unknown. Um, you know, in their exhibition games, they started two freshmen. So I uh, don't know a whole lot about them other than their prep careers. Um, and, uh, you know, their rotations and their depth in that area is a little different. So, um, you know, I think you, you prepare your team the best that you can. Uh, we know Wisconsin will be ready, um, but we have to focus on what we can do well. And, um, you know, that's been mostly our game plan and our prep. How can we prepare ourselves in the way that Charlotte does things to be able to get a win on Friday? And that's what we're trying to do. Sure. I mean, it's really cool to have our Veteran Day, you know, Military Appreciation Game day on a doubleheader when we're going to have a great crowd and uh, a lot of excitement in the building. So that just adds to it. Uh, certainly our, our, our young ladies and our myself and our staff are, are so thankful for the veterans and those that you know, have served in the military, those that continue to serve in the military to give us the freedoms that we have today. And we don't take that uh, for granted at all. And we thank them. I mean, we're excited to show the whole country what we have, what we're bringing, Conference USA, everyone. So, Well, I think, you know, you know, I always say that we play an exciting brand of basketball. We have really first class young ladies that represent our team well off the court. And so there's a lot of reasons to come out and check out our team. But uh, first game of the year, uh, give us a chance. You know, I always say to folks that haven't come to women's basketball, uh, come and watch us. Check it out. See what you think. Because I, I have a pretty good feeling that if you come and watch us, you'll enjoy it. You'll get excited and you'll come back. And, you know, even if you're traditionally a men's fan, come early. Check us out even the second half um, because um, you won't be disappointed.